Hello Internet, and welcome to the Science Of. Using sci-fi and the news to educate people on how science actually works here in the real world. Today I'm going to talk about something which has been bugging me for a while now. There are plenty of scientific conversations going on in the country, most of which have to do with policy, funding, or corporate morality. Some are strictly scientific in nature, but those are few and far between. These conversations are good and need to be had for reasons both obvious and not so obvious, but that'll have to wait for another video. There is a disturbing trend in America today, and that is when people can honestly say the following and be correct. Uh, I think he was speaking colloquially. Let me demonstrate this with an unrelated example. This is not a detective grilling a suspect. And this is not a cook grilling a steak. You really would not want to interchange these two uses. A detective using the literal version would be considered torture of a suspect, while a cook using a figurative version would just look like a crazy person yelling at some uncooked food. More common examples, at least here on the internet, are homophones. Words which sound the same but have different spellings. For example, I say the word there, or the word to, or the word your. Without context, you would have no idea which spelling and therefore which definition of these words I used. Once I use these words in sentences, you know which spelling and therefore which definitions of these words I have used. Context is important here. It is equally important to avoid mixing up definitions with their contexts, because you have assumed I use the spelling of T-H-E-I-R there, and not either of the other two spellings. If I use the other two, you become confused, and I look like an idiot. You cannot simply switch up the spellings of these words arbitrarily, because if you do, you change the definition, and the context is all wrong. And I don't think anyone would want that. The same thing applies to scientific versus colloquial definitions. It's all about context. When you are having a conversation which has its roots in science, the context cues of all words have to fit the conversation, and therefore the words have to fit the scientific definition in order to fit the conversation, because it is a science conversation, and science has its own scientific definitions of words which are necessary for science and to converse about science. So with this in mind, if you use a colloquial definition of a scientific word in a science conversation about science, then you have already lost the argument, and everyone involved in the conversation should just walk away from you when they realize you're using a colloquial definition. They should walk away for science. So with that in mind, the next few videos will be explaining the scientific meanings of words which are too often used colloquially when in a scientific conversation. If you have any suggestions on what I should do this type of video on, please leave them in the comments below. Since this is a science channel, I should always use the scientific definitions before using the colloquial definitions, and I will do just that. The following few videos will be the definitions I will use consistently throughout all of my videos to come. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep improving the world around you.